よ、イージーピクサー。なんだ何事なのだ Sometimes all a game needs is a cast of cute protagonists, and it's well on my way to gaining my interest. However, things usually change when gameplay is thrown into the mix. Thankfully, developer Remory has a nice combination of both of these elements, and way more packed into their new roguelite adventure game on Nintendo Switch. This is Noisy Pixel's review for Remory Lore Lost Girl in the Lands of Lore. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Wait, I'm going to show you a lot of more powerful t h i n Remy Lore stars a girl named Remy, who is tasked with cleaning a dusty library while complaining she discovers a book that comes alive and transports her to the world of Ragnoa. The book's name is Lore, and he informs Remy that if she wants to get home, she'll need to fight her way through robot infested areas to get to a portal. These robots were created by Shu, an android who was once close with Lore but has since gone a little crazy. With Lore's help, Remy ventures out into Ragnoa to find her way home. The story plays out fairly lighthearted and comical as As、Remy and Lore are often talking amongst themselves between battles or complaining about the state of events. However, there are a few interesting moments that focus on character development. Story scenes are kept short, allowing players to quickly jump back into the action. I enjoyed the story for what it was, and the brilliant character interactions made it more enjoyable and unique. Remy Lore is a roguelike, and it has procedurally generated levels with hack and slash combat that doesn't get too crazy with its level designs. Players run through floors of differently themed dungeons until they get to the level. Boss. However, if you die, well, you start back from the beginning, but that's just the nature of the beast. Thankfully, throughout the adventure, stronger weapons are found and points can be used to upgrade skills. Level designs, although different in theme, are identical in layout and don't have any hazards. The only thing to watch out for are the robots. Where this would normally cause concerns for repetitive gameplay, there is a good number of different robots to fight against. Bosses to take on and tons of weapons to use in the game. Replayability is everything in Rummy Lore, and the game has a ton of different modes offered in New Game Plus. Also, the game features a slew of customization options like new cute costumes for Remy. However, finishing the game is necessary for unlocking everything, but that's easier said than done as the game can get extremely difficult at times. There's also a local co op mode, so players can hack and slash their way through the game with a friend. Sadly, however, the game's best modes are locked behind completing the story of the game. But this also makes for a great reward for those who clear the game's relatively short story. Remy Lore Lost Girl in the Lands of Lore offers plenty of replayability for players to unlock new costumes, difficulties, weapons, and upgrades, and even more. But it's definitely a game for fans of dungeon crawling roguelites with a love of the hack and slash genre. The story is short, but the characters manage to win my love with their humorous dialogue and charm. Overall, Remy Lore Lost Girl in the Lands of Lore is a fun adventure that fans of this genre will easily love. Noisy Pixel is giving Remy Lore Lost Girl in the Lands of Lore. A 7.8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to read the full review at noisypixel.net. Noisy Pixel is ran by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Ugh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>